thanks for joining me for another week of Creation Corner. Now, if this is the first time that you're tuning in, I want you to make sure that you go back and watch the counter with a backsplash video because that goes into more detail, the techniques, the building techniques that I'm gonna be using in this week's design. So we're doing a counter with a sink. And if you're getting a little bored of these kitchen type things, just know we're building up to something. Next week, we're gonna put all of these things together and I think you're gonna like what we're gonna do. Now, before I get into the design, I just wanna give a quick shout out to my newest YouTube member, Kaylee. Kaylee, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And I really look forward to creating content for you. So if you haven't already, please make sure to join my Discord so we can get together and chat. All right, that's pretty much it. Let's get into this week's design. This week's design is again building off of the previous two weeks. We're gonna use lots of layers in order to achieve this look. So we're starting off with the half foundation snap points. Again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, you're gonna to wanna to go back, watch the countertop with a backsplash to get a more in-depth walkthrough of exactly what I'm doing here. Now that I've got the half snap points, I'm gonna be lowering them by five increments. And I'm going to reserve three increments down. You'll see me put a uh, foundation off to the side. So we're going to need a foundation at five increments down and a foundation at three increments down. Alright, so let's place the double door and then put in a foundation, the three increments of foundation. Now we're placing the gravestone, the first part of our sink. We're going to place a chair for sizing purposes, get the other two sides of the sink up. All right, now we're gonna place our pipe. Now FYI, I ghosted and I was successful this time to remove the chair, but later on I was not. So if you get stuck and you can't remove that chair, don't worry, you're gonna place a chair right on top of it. Place a crop lot to raise the chair and then put the back of the sink at that same height. Place in a foundation at the normal height, add in our back wall and our backsplash. Now we're gonna add in some more crop plots. That's two on each side to raise our boxes. Four boxes in total, two on each side to make our counter. Add some color and we can stop here. But if you want something to sit on top of your counter, again, you can't place something on top of boxes. So we're gonna use the crop plot trick. I think I put in four crop plots and you can sit a vessel up on top. Now onto our ceiling installments. There's two methods. The first one is easier. We're using stairs and a fence support. Because we're dealing with a slope here, I needed to use crop plots to raise up my gravestones. It's 
not exactly the same, but it's as close as you're gonna get on a slope. Add in our chair and our pipe. Replace our ceilings at the correct height, add in the back of the sink, and now we're going to raise up the backsplash. So we're going to use crop plots again to raise them up. I think I needed six here, but if you place them close enough together, you can get away with four. And that's two on each side stacked. Once we're done with that, we just need to add in our boxes. The next technique requires the use of pillars and ceilings to get incremental height on ceilings. It's, it's, it's complicated what I did, so I'm just showing you reminders, but you're going to want to go back and watch the countertop with a backsplash. Because again, it's the same measurements. If your build is the same as, it ha as I have here, which is six walls high, and you've got your uh, second floor three walls up, then this will work for you. But again, you can just do your own measurements. We're using two crop plots this time to raise up the gravestone. Add in your pipe. Replace our ceilings at the correct height. Add in our final chair. Add another crop plot to raise up the back of the sink. Then add in four or six more crop plots, depending on how close you can get them, to put in the backsplash. And we just need to add our boxes and hook up our water and color. That's it for this week's Creation Corner design. I hope you liked it. We are definitely building up to something if you can't tell. Next week we're going to put all of these techniques together and then we're going to create a whole kitchen. So be sure to tune in for that. If you like this content, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and remember, YouTube memberships are live. So if you're interested in supporting this channel, helping it to get better, as well as getting some cool perks, then click on that join button. So thanks for joining me in another week, and as always, I will see you soon.